What's up YouTube? It's me Kenneth of What's New Barbecue. Today's video is actually a behind the scenes footage at my barbecue brother, Babybag Maniacs. He invited me and T-Roy Cooks um, over to do a brisket comparison on his Lone Star Grills offset. And we did a hot and fast comparison and what we compared is foil wrapped, butcher paper wrapped, and not wrapped at all. And I thought that'd be an interesting video to show you all the behind the scenes of. If this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscription button and that bell so you can keep track of this barbecue journey. I appreciate y'all for being here and I hope y'all enjoy it. And Troy from, what's the name of your channel again? Uh, T-Roy Cook. T-Roy Cook. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, nobody knows that guy. So what have you guys been doing here? What, what do we got going so far? Well, me and Troy are here messing around with these three briskets. We're doing some black belt tricks that we learned from Harry Sue. <laughs> Nothing but black belt tricks going on here. One of them, start with a really good rub. Harry Sue's rub, his beef is excellent. So that's the beef rub we're using yeah. today, right? Yeah. Okay. 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 Basically what we're going to do, we season them up already a little bit. Um, we know we're going to have some touch up spots, so we're letting them sweat in for like five or ten minutes. And then we're just going to touch them up and get them onto the Lone Star Grills, I believe. Yeah. So when you say touch up, you just mean hitting the spots that... You... We've all painted before. <laughs> We've all <laughs> painted before. So when you paint, you think it's great, you know, and then you take two steps back and you're like, no, nah, I missed a spot. So, you know, we have, to, we have to get in here and touch it up a little bit just to make sure everybody gets some flavor. It's going to be good, right? Yeah. Great. <laughs> All right. Good. What up? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're doing this cook hot and fast, which means we're cooking at 275 degrees Fahrenheit, and any any temps above that, you're gonna get a nice Maillard reaction, and it's also going to caramelize the sugars that are in your rub, you have sugars in the rub, uh, but it's it's really gonna get that bark really really nice and uh, almost I'd say almost like a grilled type flavor, but really good bark. Uh, also, when you're doing it this way. You'll notice that you'll get some pooling of some liquids from the from the brisket on the top side. Now, to prevent that from pooling, which is going to hurt the bark in that area where it's pooling the liquid, get you some wood chunks, just some small wood chunks. Put these under the brisket. We use two per brisket, and mainly you're going to see pooling on one of the ends, so either the point end or more than usual the flat end. So we just got a couple of these little small chunks under each brisket. We're going to let it rock and roll, and there you go. That's another. Tip for uh, from old Harry Sue for some black belt. What does he call it? Black belt barbecue. Black belt barbecue, barbecue, barbecue tips tip. Tricks. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Harry. <laughs> We need 
to spritz with water every 30 to 45 minutes. And that's just to make sure that that rub forms or that crust forms evenly on the entire brisket. So that's what we're gonna do. About every 30 to 45 minutes, whenever we add a log, we're gonna go ahead and spritz. Also, we're using hickory and pecan wood with a little bit of cherry. That was another suggestion of Harry because it adds a nice uh, color, kind of a red color to the brisket. So that's the plan. That's where we are. It's 11 o'clock. We kick this off. I think it'll probably take five or six hours. It's going to be a fun cook. Y'all hang, hang tight. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's stupid safety. <laughs> Die, sucker. <laughs> he's, still, he's still moving. Give up or struggle, which one do you want? Yeah. I'll tell you what, you said the apple, the cherry, the hickory. That smoke smells amazing from the get-go, so let's go ahead and spray it with some water. Just a little bit. We just want to keep it moist while we're cooking because we still want that bark to form. I think that's good. Keep it minimal. We're going to close it down. I don't know, maybe check on it in an hour and see what we're looking like. See what we need to do from there. Check y'all in a little bit. What you got going on, Justin? Go check out my briskets. Let's see these briskets. Look at this one. I think we may need to rotate these two. Are there any black belt tips or black tricks belt involved? Tips? Well, as a matter of fact, there is. Oh. I've been spritzing every half hour to pre pre prevent them from overcooking. Oh. And then if you look under here, <coughs> we're using Harry Sue's wood chunk um, technique where he bows the brisket over the top of the wood chunk so that no uh, water can pool on top of the brisket and mess up your bark. Nice. Yeah. Black belt tip, black belt trick, black belt tip. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so, yeah. I think we need to swap these out though because it looks like this one's cooking a little hotter than this one. Time this to one rotate? Yeah, I think so. It's almost time to wrap, don't you think? What do you think? Oh, yeah. Or both. <laughs> Third time's a charm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at that arm. Such strength. <laughs> is that is that door to the house? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, perfect. Where are we at? One fifty one fifty seven. Starting to get a good jiggle too. Yeah, that's still the one that's not uh, doesn't have the bark on it. Mm -hmm. This guy. Yeah. Yeah, we he's still, not ready. We still love this guy. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we're still, he's still our friend. Let's see if he's really behind. Or yeah, every brisket's like different, man. <laughs> Just over here. Don't mind me. Yeah. <laughs> we're good. We're, we're all good. good. Where's my hat? Damn Don't right. mind me. Over here regulating. Folks, let's check out these briskets. It's been four hours. I think they're close. Oh my God, check that out. Woo, doggy. Rotating them really helped in this situation. Man, they look really, really nice. Let's check out, uh, let's check out this middle one. Bark's looking really nice on there. Not really a whole lot coming off. I think the bark's set. I think we're pretty close to wrapping. Let's, uh, let's kind of do a little probe test. I'm still in the middle one here. Yeah. Okay. Where are we at? What's that say? About uh, 160. 160. There you go. 161. There you go. We're in the stall, man. Yeah. I think we're going to wrap two of these, one in paper, one in foil, and we're going to leave one naked. We'll choose which one we're going to do which way, and uh, that depends on the bark that's on it. But they're looking really nice, man. They do. Yeah. All right, let's put them in some pans, bring them inside, and wrap them up. Thank you. 
this side, so just a little better angle. Like that, right? Yeah. Good? Yeah. That was the point. I'm going to put that that way. And we're we'll making a little hobo pocket here. Another, uh, what do you call it? Black belt tip. Black, Black belt, belt tip. tip. Yeah. Harry Sue. <laughs> Make you a little hobo pocket. Put brisket in the pork. <laughs> I started to say ninja. <laughs> ninja tip. So we, we doubled the length. We're going to fold it over. We're just going to roll up the sides here. Like so, crimp that side there, roll it up again that way, like so, finish crimping it up around the brisket, now what we've got, we got is a little pocket right there, we pour some beef broth in there, like we're going to do here, and probably a quarter cup or so, and we, we put the uh, shiny side inside, it's gonna help the heat reflect on the inside, okay? Lift that up, let that beef broth get all up in there. Yeah. All right, then we crimp it down. Make sure it's tight so it's not boiling. It's, it's actually resting in the foil with uh, the steam. It's gonna just make that really, really nice. So we jump back out of the pit. Perfecto. You lead the way. You lead the way. Come on, let's go. <laughs> and Houston. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Foil paper. I brought your brisket's friend, other brisket. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, that's the first time we've done this on the offset. First time I've seen it done anyway on the offset with some brisket hot and fast. So we're just going to play it by ear. You know, it may take an hour, it may take two hours. We'll let you know what happens. Y'all stay tuned. Perfecto. You want to do that? Mm -hmm. Okay, do you want to uh, unwrap them first? Yeah. I don't care. I just need them. Nah, you got to keep them. So they see them, right? Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, let's let's unwrap them. Go ahead and put them all in their place and then we'll unwrap them. How about that? Sounds like a plan. This one's sticky. Ooh. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Houston, what do we got? You got some brisket? Yeah. All right, guys, that's the behind the scenes footage of Baby Bag Maniac's house. If you want to know our final thoughts on the butcher paper, the foil wrap, or the not wrapped at all, hop over to his channel, check that video out where we share our opinions on which one we think turns out best. I appreciate everybody for being here, and until next time, y'all keep on barbecuing.